Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about metal. And in my opinion, the most important thing, that bit of news we got today. Yeah, there's another thing going on actually as I'm recording this, but who cares about that? I will make a video about it, but not this one. Anyway, um, you know, basically Metallica just released a new song called Moth in the Flame. And uh, I've listened to it a total of three times now, and I have to say I'm pretty damn impressed with it. Um, this, is, of course, is the second track they've released from their upcoming album, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. The first track, uh, Hardwired, was basically, the way it sounded, was a Kill 'Em All era song played by Modern Metallica. Not a bad thing. It was, I thought it was a pretty good song. Uh, definitely a very solid song. Was I super thrilled about it? Not super thrilled, but I was, you know, definitely uh, had positive impression of it, and it definitely gave me some uh, enthusiasm for the album. Uh, so it was, it definitely did its job. It made me interested in the new album and gave me some hope. Now they've released Moth into Flame, and uh, my opinion of the song just. You know, uh, very shortly, I think it's a very good metal song. Now, let me expand on that a little bit. Um, I heard a lot of elements of a lot of different things. Um, you know, some of the uh, moments in the song almost sounded like they could have been on a recent Death Angel album. Or, you know, any really of the uh, great 80s thrash bands who are continuing on into, you know, this new millennium. It's... Some of those moments sounded like they could have fit in on a lot of those albums, right? I mean, uh, maybe a, a recent Overkill album, for example. Not not the whole thing. The whole the whole thing doesn't sound like that. But there's a little bit of that vibe in the song that really impressed me. I mean, it's almost really what, in my opinion, which I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in the end. Um, you know, it, it was really just a positive vibe. Um, now it's not all like that. Um, there is a mixture, there are some loadish moments in there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The loads weren't all bad. There was some good things in there. Um, you know, I also heard some of the progressive flourishes of Injustice for All in the song. Uh, I heard a little bit of Death Magnetic mixed in there. Um, you know, uh, but overall this thing really was just a really good song. Um... You know, and it's really what Metallica should have done, at least in my opinion, as a fan, if they had done something, if they had gone this direction after Injustice for All, I don't think they would have gotten nearly the vitriol and hate that they did, uh, you know, going the, the more commercial direction than they did. Because what they're doing now really isn't all that commercial. It's, it's uh, you know, it's definitely a... Sh in a lot of ways, they're coming home to, to what they were, um, you know, and of course, fans are really enjoying it. Now, are they capable of doing what they used to do? I don't think so. Uh, like I said in the Hardwired uh, track review, I just think due to their age, James cannot sing the way he used to, and that is kind of the main downside to this, but that's just due to his age. He can't do what he used to do physically. And their playing style just has changed for some reason. And their guitar tone, they've changed it a lot from what it used to be. But as far as modern Metallica goes, I don't think it's going to get better than um, what this album is shaping up to be. I think uh, I, I'm really excited that this is shaping up to be a really good album. I If this, if this quality continues uh, with the rest of the album, this will easily be the best thing that they have done since And Justice for All, which is shocking to me. I honestly thought, you know, after, uh, you know, so many crappy albums, uh, I kind of assumed, you know, Metallica was basically dead as far as creativity goes and writing good songs, but apparently they can still do it, which it's, it's wonderful. I mean, I... I I, I can't believe it. I, I really thought Metallica was totally dead and buried. And I'll tell you what, if they can produce music like this, pff, keep at it. You know, um, it's it's surprising. Very surprising and very, it's, it's a very pleasant surprise. Um, so anyway, 
Not at all expected. Um, but regardless, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, did you like the song? Did you not like the song? Are you excited? Are you unexcited? Do you not care? Whatever you have to say, I want to hear it. Let me know in the comments below. That's pretty much it. Um, as always, thanks a whole lot for watching. If you did like what you see, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks a whole lot for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.